I started the business when I was 24. Today I'm 70, so do the math. Um, it's been a long time. Um, and we were kids, basically. And we were passionate about sailing from childhood and thought it would be fun to build a race boat. And we more or less fell into the oyster marine business by accident. But at the end of the first year, we'd won a few races. People came along and said, you know, that's a really nice boat. Where do I, where do I get one? And to cut a long story short, one thing led to another. And before we knew where we were, we, we were actually in the boat business. And we started doing a boat called a UFO 34, which was a, obviously a 34-footer and a cruiser racer. And we were selling kits and finished boats in those days. But bit by bit, the business evolved, and we made some big decisions along the way. And one of those that we, was that we were going to concentrate on cruising yachts and the other that we were going to go for absolute top quality, regardless of the price that we had to sell the boat for, because we felt there would be a market for a better boat at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at whatever it cost, within reason. And we decided to make the business international, because Oyster couldn't have survived just selling in the UK market. And so we did all of those things, and bit by bit we grew the business and created what is today an international brand. Um, we started the business very much on a shoestring. Actually, I think I, I think the business was founded on £2,000 left to me by my auntie. Um, but we were kids in those days and kind of risk takers as well. And one way or another, the, the business worked out and uh, we, we created this incredible family of cruising yachts that are like, it's, it's like a second home on the water. And people get all sorts of different things from their oysters. For some people, it is literally their home. Others, it's a second home. Others, it's something to socialise on and have fun with. For others, it's to do blue water sailing and even sail around the world. And uh, as you know, uh, 16 of them just arrived in Antigua, having done just that. And they're uh, adding to this club where there are now 90 oyster owners that have in fact circumnavigated. Um, and so a lot of boats have sailed around the world, but I'm not aware of any that have done so as a fleet, um, like Oyster have, for the third time now, had their own rally around the world. We managed the business very much with a team of people. We, had a, we used to say that Oyster was a team of ordinary people who, working as a team, created an extraordinary company. And that's, I think that's what Richard Adida will do in due course. It's the first day of term for him. He's hugely enthusiastic. Um, he has got the means to take the business forward. I'm, I'm very pleased that he's invested in it. He's got some good people around him. I'm, I'm optimistic that the business will, will go from strength to strength. I certainly hope so.